Do you know who ate all the donuts? Hello, Gordon. <laughs> so today, we're going to be checking out Half-Life for the Dreamcast. This game was unreleased, um, and officially it was sort of the basis for the PS2 version of Half-Life. So uh, there's a lot of similarities between this and the PlayStation 2 release of Half-Life 1. Um, but there are also some exclusive Easter eggs in this game that are only available in the Dreamcast version. And I just thought it would be nice to check this out. And uh, not only is it because, you know, there's so many additional features in this game, but also because Half-Life 1 is one of my favorite games. And I think this will just be a magnificent experience. So let's check it out. I don't know how long this game is going to take me to beat. I don't know if this is just going to be a one-off stream or if we're going to do this multiple times in a row. Um, but for the most part, I know for a fact this game is uh, pretty much fully developed. So I don't know if it's technically beatable, but it, from my understanding it should be. And yeah, welcome to Half-Life for the Dreamcast. You can even see Sierra <laughs> back in the day, huh? So I had to even configure my own custom controls for this just to make it work. Even on the Dreamcast controller, this is kind of weird. But let's go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, see, I'm already doing it. I'm pressing <laughs> actual face buttons whenever I need to use the control stick to actually access this. So let's start a new game. And this comes with Blue Shift as well, so we'll be checking out Half-Life Blue Shift at some point. Um, I've played a bit of Blue Shift, but I don't think I've ever beaten it. So this will probably be my first time getting all the way through Blue Shift, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I have never beaten it. But uh, let's start with the Hazard Course. Um, I don't really need a tutorial, but I feel like this is just going to get us warmed up. And uh, start us off with some good fresh memes, and also just uh, sort of introduce the main differences between this and the PC version, the PlayStation 2 version. I think this was even on Xbox at one point. I don't know. Hit the wrong button there. New game, Hazard Course. Thank you. Thank you, Based Half-Life. And I guess, uh, maybe like internal development, this game uh, <laughs> must have used like the crazy taxi engine or something, because uh, I don't know what it is, but Demul says crazy taxi whenever you open this. Let me just make sure the, whoops, oh god, what are my buttons here? Let me just make sure the audio quality is good. Uh, let's see. Audio. Audio is maximized. Huh. Interesting. Is it really, though? Huh. Okay, I guess it's just kind of quiet. Okay. Step into my office. Yeah, so I tested this out a little bit off stream, and it seemed fine. Like I said, I had to configure some controls just to make this work. Um, but it seems good. <laughs> I love the announcer for the HEV suit. She's just so breathy and just a classic meme. Yeah, so one thing I noticed about this, by the way, is uh, to make this work properly on the Dreamcast, um, they configured the jump buttons, you automatically go into crouch if you hold it long enough, which is like, you know, classic FPS logic, like crouch jumping gets you more height anyway, but uh, we're going to need that for a later feature anyhow, so... Ew. 
soon the HEV suit will fit me like a second skin, you say? Huh. Exoskeleton? Metal Gear. <laughs> this is one thing I noticed earlier on, like last night whenever I was testing this out. I don't know if this is in the PC version of the Hazard course. There's like neat little bugs skittering around here. I don't know. I Honestly, I have never really played through the Hazard course enough to care. To like look around at stuff, so... I don't know, it's just sort of interesting to me that they added, they either added that small detail or this has just always been present in the game. So we're probably going to be learning some new stuff here, but I might just uh, get caught up to the point where we like get a weapon and then I'll just move on. I'm just like making sure the frame rate is generally stable here too, seems like it is. Okay, so we just need to like jump through everything. I'm not going to like listen to that lady too much. <laughs> let me let me check really quick if this is like maximum volume. Volume mixer, please. It is. I'm surprised this is so quiet. Huh. Okay. Let me just make sure OBS is doing okay here. Eh, it's fine for like what it's been recently at least. Like not in the background though, please. Okay, there we go and have focus on the game as well, please. Thanks. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there's some interesting dialogue from these scientists, but I'm, like, speaking over them. And, uh, it's not really required anyway. So let's just progress onward until the point where we, like, get a weapon. <laughs> Press forward and duck together to move in stealth mode. Gordon! I hardly know ye! Okay, yeah, this is just real basic stuff. It just wants us to run and jump. Gotta get to the point where we run and jump and shoot. I feel like the audio levels are just drastically lower than what I expected them to be here. Well, hopefully you can hear this properly. Oh uh, yeah, the flashlight classic. It's like my favorite thing to play with in this game, besides like the actual game itself. I'll just... <laughs> For example, in Sven Co-op, if I'm like, not on microphone and I just want to annoy someone, I just spam the flashlight in their face over and over again. Welcome to the HEV Mark III. Oh boy, this is reminding me of some... Half-Life mods that require you to climb up a ton of ladders. Okay, we get the basic hang of everything. We just need to do, like, some Mario jumping puzzles. I'm not gonna listen to the tutorial lady because she's too quiet right now, but I guess I'll just, like, pipe down a little bit for when we actually get some story segments going on here. What are you trying to make me do here, game? Apparently this game has some different textures as well for certain segments than the PC version. Double tap. Okay, here's the long, long jump mechanism module. If only I could climb ladders without falling over. So yeah, what I said before, uh, oh, you got a double tap for the long jump now. Make sure you picked up the long jump module. Dude, I'm not that stupid. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we're going to get that a little bit later into the game, but it is a useful mechanic they teach you in the hazard course for some reason. Anything else we really need to discover here? Okay, we're just going down, I guess. Bring it around town. Okay, D-pad right, so that's this button. <laughs> like I said, i got to reassign everything. I missed. <laughs> Major fracture detected. <laughs> you know, I, I've said this before, I like watching Varg Skeletor Joel's streams, 
and he makes fun of the AGV suit constantly. It's just more funny to me now. I mean, the AGV suit is kind of a meme in and of itself, but it's like, major fracture detected, administering morphine. It's like, dude, I know. You don't have to go all like crisis suit on me. I'm not listening to you, lady. I'm sorry. Anything down here? Bugs? Can I squish the bug? <coughs> so gross. Alright, we're basically done here. I just sort of wanted to test out the game. Activate wheels and dials. Why aren't you giving me a gun already? Oh god! <laughs> I'm already murdering myself. Minor laceration detected. Administering Tylenol. <laughs> Fantastic. What's over here? Did I just jump through this uh, rebar here? Mm, maybe not. Please give me guns so I can just move on to the actual gameplay. Just want to make sure the guns work with my control configuration. No, it's time to move boxes! God, I might as well just complete the hazard course at this point. Bug. Yeah! God, I'm such a good, uh... I was gonna say Undertaker. <laughs> such a good exterminator. Wait, what? Trying to make me actually move boxes, not just screw around? Check this out, by the way. If you've never played Half-Life before, witness these incredible physics. <laughs> Just, like, slightly moving it around causes it to glide. This is definitely not a thing in Half-Life 2. I don't know about Half-Life Alex, but I strongly doubt it's this bad in the Alex. I mean, even the small boxes do it. They just frickin' skate on the ground like it's all ice. It's disgusting. I tell ya. It's a bit disgusting if, I, if I'm if i frank with you. Okay, you know what? This works. This is good enough. I don't need a gun. I just need this damn thing. So I'm talking about like my favorite stuff in Half-Life, right? Playing around with the light and stuff. Check out my other favorite thing. <laughs> yes! Now I am... Supreme Exterminator. I will decimate everything. Nothing will stand in Gordon Freeman's path. Get over here, bug. Let me do this the most inefficient way. Did you see that? Did you see that? I literally eviscerated that thing midair. That's how fast Gordon swings his crowbar. Uh, turn on the D-pad light. Oh my god, what is... Hello? These power packs have some weird texture glitches going on. Loving it. I love it. Well, thanks for letting me know, HEV suit. Hello, Barney. Ooh, Barney's having some trouble, too. Oh, I guess holding down B is, uh, makes you walk. Didn't even think of that before. Yo. FPS kind of dip in there, though. Can I, like, actually jump across this gap, or is it, uh, just gonna gatekeep me? Yeah. Alright, I think that's good enough. Let's just... I don't want to save. I do not. Let's just go back and... Dude, this control scheme is super annoying. Yes, quit. Let's just start an actual new game. Easy, normal, or hard mode. I didn't even think there were difficulties to choose? Sure, let's do it on hard mode. I don't know. Ah, uh, you know what? Does Half-Life even have difficulty? Like the first game. I know for a fact Half-Life 2 does. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it on normal mode. Okay. I accidentally hit the B button. Fine, hard mode. If it's too hard, I'll just catch up to where I was. 
like off screen. Ah, uh, yes, the beginning sequence. Entering into Black Mesa, where I can sign my soul over to the uh, Shadow Government that is researching aliens. Good stuff. I keep thinking I have the HEV suit already, so I'm trying to switch to the flashlight over and over again. Good stuff. 68 degrees? Dude, it's chilly in here. Trying to tell me I'm gonna ride the tram at 68 degrees? Greg Coomer! Speaking of Coomer, if you haven't seen uh, Half-Life, but Half-Life VR, but the AI is sentient, go check it out. It's by Wayne Radio T TV. Let me say that again. Wayne Radio TV. And it is just a such a phenomenal experience to watch. Uh, it's probably even better than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but he did such a great job, and it is like such an impressive feat to see this game in VR, let alone uh, a bunch of nerds mucking about on multiplayer with it too, just trying to like pull out the best fresh memes. It is really impressive, and I... I dare to say it is almost better than the vanilla game. Uh, speaking of content creators who have also played this game, I recommend checking out Accursed Farms playthrough of Half-Life 1. Um, it's called Freeman's Mind. And honestly, it's like the <laughs> single player version of Half-Life VR, but the AI is sentient. It's not in VR, but honestly, Ross does such an amazing job at becoming Gordon Freeman's inner monologue, and it is just so damn impressive how long he worked on that, how much effort he put into it, the amount of like development time that went into it. I mean, I'm talking about not even just in Half-Life 1. Whenever he got to Freeman's mind too, I remember seeing a devlog of him making custom source mod programs, or programs, custom source mod plugins to make the game experience more fluid. Like, that is dedication when you are making a fringe mod for a game playthrough. Not even for, like, you know, to release to the community. Just to make your Let's Play <laughs> go through. I mean, I shouldn't call it that. It was... He started on Machinima, I think, with Freeman's Mind. And wow, I mean, it, it ended a few years ago, I want to say. Dude, Gordon Freeman's the same age I am. PhD, MIT, theoretical physics. Dude, I have a theoretical degree in physics. <laughs> Research associate position. Anomalous materials laboratory assignment. But yeah, definitely go check out Wayne Radio TV's playthrough of this and check out... Ross's Game Dungeon Accursed Farms playthrough of this. They are both very quality, and I feel like you get two different stories from the exact same experience. Um, I just feel like Ross's Game Dungeon, aka Accursed Farms playthrough, is a little bit more realistic. Like, they, uh, he just, you know, sort of talks about in universe stuff. And. I feel like Wayne Radio TV's version is just like the biggest Half-Life meme to ever exist up until now. Besides, hello, Gordon! Uh, but yeah, if you like memes, go check that out. And if you like uh, very well-made machinima, go check out the other one. I just gotta say before I end that rant about different Half-Life videos... Uh, Heavenly Sword? <laughs> Best game? They were gonna release Heavenly Sword, it was gonna be like Meg! There was gonna be a hundred players online at once! <laughs> God. It's all your fault, Gordon. You should have brought your passport. We're getting a little bit of frame dips here, but uh, from what I understand, the Dreamcast version is a little bit less optimized compared to the PS2 version. 
And like I said earlier, the Dreamcast version has like an upgraded texture pack. Uh, it's called like a high quality texture pack. Uh, the PS2 version apparently has the ultra high quality texture pack, quote unquote. So both games have something new going on in terms of that. Hello, Gordon! Do you know who ate all the donuts? Stop! Thanks, Barney. Quietbarney.exe Okay, let's just, like, move on. Because I don't want to talk to Barno whenever he's a quiet man. The quiet man. Wait, can I just, like, divert his AI over and over again? Uh, he just stops dead in his tracks if I get in his way. Makes sense. <laughs> he's, like, looking around all paranoid. He's like, you gonna look at my security codes, huh? Huh? Sorry, I'm on duty. What, do you, what does he think I'm doing? Asking him to go get some beers or something? Sorry, I have to stay at my post. Sorry, I'm on duty. That's what I get for trying to talk to him. Nice, Barney. Nice. Well, welcome to Black Mesa. The uh, Nevada Alien Research Facility. Code Gordon goes to work. That is actually a code I input into the uh, level generation thing. What in the hell is this? Is this the alarm? No, wait, I think this is the alarm right over here. <laughs> My god! Uh, it looks like Barney turned it off instantly. Hey, what's up, buddy? You typing some programs in there? What, what you got running on that thing? Uh, MS-DOS? Run some basic programs or something? What you got? That actually does kind of look like basic. Could be Midnight Commander or something. Hey, you gonna you gonna check me into the guest book? No. Sorry, Gordon. I'm on duty right now. He says as he plays Peggle Popcap. Peggle Popcap. I say Popcap. You know what? <laughs> You'll just have to wait until after the test. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm kind of busy now. Busy with what? Just standing around? I didn't know I was late, I'm sorry. What's up? The hell is that sound effect? Computer? Something happened here. Uh, this game reminds me a lot of uh, Deus Ex. I know they're kind of like similar time period. Please leave me alone until after the experiment. What experiment? <laughs> Please! I'm so busy right now, walking in circles. Yes. Look at all this busyness. So busy right now. Okay, I can't go in there for some reason. Please, leave me alone. Ah, yes. Our, uh... Pfft, I guess I... I want to say anti-hero, but no. Antagonist, if anything. What's he got go going on in his briefcase there? Is that a Black Mesa logo? What are you guys even talking about, huh? Talking about me? Talking about me behind my back? Is that what it is? Mr. Scientist and Mr. Quote-unquote Businessman? Let me in. No? Talking about uh, quantum mechanics in there, huh? You know what? Knowing this game's story, probably... Like, yeah, Gordon's gonna appear over here. You just gotta pretend to talk to me really quick. FG equals C something. And then a bunch of formulas over another formula. Don't care. Uh, coolant reserve facility? 
Do I need to go over here just yet? Hello, Bonnie. I can't understand anything anybody is saying. So let's, uh, I mean, sure. Let's save really quick. New saved game. Does it just not name my saves? Okay, uh, options. Do we have subtitles? Audio. No. Huh. Why am I surprised? Surely there's gotta be subtitles, right? Custom controls? No, that's not gonna be in there. Well, I guess not. That's what I get for playing Half-Life on the Dreamcast, right? Uh, excuse me, do you know who ate all the donuts? Nope, still can't understand where it is, but I guess this is an E. EG squared C cubed, maybe? Uh, nope, can't read the rest of that. What you got on this one, huh? This looks like a frickin' battle station you would see in the military or something. Hey, what? You got games on here? You got games on your phone? Oh, God. Just imagine the day when kids, like, I'm talking about post-Zoomers. You guys enjoy that? <laughs> imagine the day when kids think this is a phone. And it's a nice phone there. You make phone calls on that? Yeah, pull up Discord on that. <laughs> Dude, I turned that on for a reason. What are you doing? You can't be bothered right now. Okay. There's some more bothering for you. See you later, idiot. Hey, you busy? You busy? Okay, sure. Someone was starting to collide with me right there. I could see the screen shaking because they were pushing into me. Just gonna take a drink real quick. You'll just have to wait until after the test, Gordon. No smoking area, huh? Hello, Gordon. Jesus Christ, shut up. Stop telling me about the test. You okay? Can't be bothered. You're getting sody pop. Please. Can I have a sody pop? Yes. Mmm, grape. What other flavors we got here? Mmm, more grape. Uh, blue? Mmm, blue raspberry grape. Nothing else? Dude, I used up all the coins someone put in here earlier. What happens if you just press all of these? I think I broke the machine. Hey, can I have some of that? Here, heat it up. I thought I'd steal your lunch, I'm sorry. Ah, yes. What if I was still microwaving this uh, exploded mess? You guys enjoy the uh, radiation that comes from this. I'm going to the test chamber. Authorized personnel only. Well, my first and last name are authorized personnel. Don't know what that only word means. Oh my god, they actually have their names on their lockers? Mr. Bond? Can I open these? No. What's up? God. Stop saying the same thing over and it. You know what, Dr. Coomer? I'm stealing all of your extra, uh, kind bars. Don't you have to be in the test room? Freeman. What in the hell? What is that a picture of? Is that a baby? Can I even pick this up? No, okay. What is this? Uh, I can't tell if this is, like... A young child sleeping in bed, or if this is like an old lady? Like, <laughs> mid-40s lady sleeping in bed? 
either 5 or 45. The Orchid Eater, and what is this? The something Mandala. The... The 37th Mandala? By Mark Laidlaw. Wait a second. Laidlaw? Didn't I just see that over here? Hey! That's cheating! You can't read books from people in your department. What else we got here? It was, uh... By... Oh, they're both by Laidlaw. That's weird. <clears throat> well, there's our, uh, MIT degree in, uh, you know, our theoretical degree in physics. All right, let's just, like, move on here. And by move on, I mean raid the bathroom and peek at the poopers. Hey, let me in. You guys got any toilet paper? <laughs> okay. Anything in the garbage? Can I turn this on? Yeah, don't, don't mind me, I'm just washing my hands. <laughs> Little do they know I put a cherry bomb in, in that. Okay, that's kind of unsanitary. You can't just leave standing water in the sink and wash your hands with it. Weren't you supposed to be actually doing something half an hour ago? Not just yelling at me about being in the test chamber? The HEV suit is talking over itself. <laughs> What's this music, dude? I don't remember the song from the Half-Life soundtrack. Yeah! This one was stolen from the Sonic soundtrack. <laughs> Someone sample this, please, with the HEV suit talking. And just make a sick song with this beat and using the HEV suit voice samples as like an additional part of the song. Oons, 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 oons. Minor fracture detected. Oons, 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 oons. Administering morphine. Oons, 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 oons. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here and like actually do something. Grab a soda real quick, I guess. No. <laughs> yeah, kind of busy, huh? Well, enjoy your molten pasta or whatever that is. I'm on my way to do real work, as you can see. By real work, I mean uh, slack off all day. Greetings. <laughs> Don't say hi to me if you're just gonna yell at me. Nobody cares about Gordon, man. <laughs> I'm just making Barney's job harder. He sees that I'm screwing up. But he doesn't want to do anything about it. So he's just standing there. You gonna do that again for me, buddy? Go on, open it up. Please. Oh, I can just enter willy-nilly now that it's already been opened. I guess getting access denied doesn't really mean anything to the game. Ah, uh, yes. Working as a team. Trams, helicopters, Siams, the American flag, gigantic valleys with water, a dam, elevators. <laughs> I need to stop goofing around and like actually play the game, but I don't know. Something about this just feels so good to goof off when you're playing this. feel like half the game is just goofing around, too. Of course, until you get to lay gun segments. 
By the way, apparently this game is super hard if you have auto-aim turned off, so that is enabled by default. Do you know who ate all the donuts? Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber about 30 minutes ago? Please! I'm busy right now. Not now, Gordon! Yeah, we got like a nice electric turbine here. Okay, control room, test lab access, plasma cells, ionization chambers. Let's uh, combine all of those and absolutely fry my brain. Speaking of accursed farms, laser caution! Laser caution! Can we? I don't know. May we? Uh, coolant? Coolant cycling or uh, chemicals? What is this? Is this coolant or is this uh, radiation fluid? Please! You'll just have to wait until after the test, Gordon. Okay. Sure. Oh boy. Looks like they're calling me in for a company review meeting. And yeah, what's over here? This game is so damn quiet. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer. Okay, get in the test chamber. That's all I heard. That's all I care about. Can someone, like, let me in, please? I'm gonna jump through this hole if you don't. Please! Okay, cool. Just do this again. Hmm, I wonder why that happened. Well, that's no problem. I might as well just uh, progress onto the test, right? Doesn't matter if the computers are breaking. Oh, was that my fault? Can't remember if this one actually is like, uh... If you start seeing the beginning foreboding segments, or if it's like immediately after this, but let's just progress onward here. Because, you know, we'll just have to wait until after the test, Gordon. This guy actually looks like he's kind of busy. Same canned response, though. Okay, test lab. We're finally here. Hey, you, you're finally awake. Okay, can I do this again? Love the announcer in this game. Apparently there's a certain easter egg that involves this, by the way. If you just, like, keep trying to gain access to areas, it'll give you more uh, audio dialogue. Well, let's just move this along so we can get the Vortigons to spawn in and zap the crap out of me. Thanks, Dad. They apparently have complete confidence in me. I'm the only one who witnessed the uh, server racks exploding, but sure, that's fine. I uh, gotta love these, like, mandatory waiting segments. What is this? Interesting. It's like telemetric data. Well, more dialogue segments, so we might as well just goof off a little bit here. I think uh, in, like, the official speedrun for this game, there's a way to just, like force uh, these dialogue trees to continue to the end very quickly. I'm not too concerned about it though because everything concludes pretty much after this point. Interesting thing about this area too, it appears in Half-Life 2. Um, 
I'm not sure if they like completely remastered it for the Source Engine or if it's like one to one, a direct copy. It's just interesting that you see it like at the very beginning of Half Life 2. That did damage to me, of all things. Okay, I hit the stupid button. Can I like push the cart into the objective here now? The push cart, comrade. Uh, even on such an old engine as Gold Source, this still looks pretty good. I just feel like uh, Gabe Newell and Valve knew what they were doing even back then. It's really up to you if you think they're doing well now. I, I don't know, I haven't played Half-Life Alex. I'm just glad they released something that wasn't, uh, <laughs> you know, it didn't take 500 years to release. Am I, like, actually dead? Huh? Please just say it auto-saved here. I don't want to have to go back through everything. Oh my god. Why am I here? <laughs> okay. Sure, whatever. By last saved game, it means literally the last game you saved. That's well, fine. I goofed around this whole time, so we'll be able to catch up back over there real fast. It's kind of interesting to me, too, that uh, so much of this is like interconnected in the early areas. Uh, even in the later segments it is, too, but... You can just sort of go back and forth between whatever you find reasonable here. Let's open this back up and grab the HEV suit really fast. Welcome to the, the Half-Life speedrun now. Okay, we just gotta cross the hallway now and we can basically get back to the test chamber real quick. Do the, this bopping music again. Okay, Barney. Open the door. It's party time, my friend. I feel like a lot of the loading zones are similar, too. Like, in the PC version, I feel like th it loads here. I don't know what about the beginning, though. I feel like it loaded a lot more for th this particular console. Probably just because it's, like, so many different areas with many models interacting. No! Oh my god. Yeah, you're telling me major fracture detected. I could have told you about that one. Oh, I'm already here. Cool. Speaking of speedrunning, I guess the game sort of expects you to do it. I mean, if you want to. Okay. We're almost back. I knew I should have saved in there, but I was like, nah, I'll be fine. And then I just stupidly walked right into the beam of, <laughs> you know, like, photoelectric spasming electricity. Photonic? I don't know what the hell it is. You tell me. I played this game through so many times and I have absolutely no idea what the story is. What any of it means. All I know is, ah, hello, Gordon! Do you know who ate all the donuts? Okay. Okay. If I know anything about this game, I just need to get through the test chamber segment and we can, like, actually start making some progress. You know, in until we encounter, uh, electric Donkey Kongs, that is. Okay, easy enough. I probably should save right here, in fact. Just because the test chamber segment doesn't take too long. And we can just straight up... I'm thinking I'm going to die mid-cutscene, but... Just in case, we can just straight up come over here if we need to. Uh, hello? Is it really taking this long to save the game? That was fast. 
That was meant to be like sarcastic sounding, but I just said it deadpan. This is a rare opportunity, huh? Please. Just have to wait until the test is done, huh? I think you can, like, force them to talk to make them move faster, but I don't know. <laughs> Why do they always have to make us wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> Please. They're so frustrated with Gordon. It's like, oh, he's just a theoretical physicist. 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 <laughs> what do physicists do? See, a physicist is specialized in physics. So a physicist is specialized in soda or something like that, right? I don't know. What, what could it possibly be? A physicist. I feel like that's just a synonym for a physicist, right? Do you know who ate all the donuts? Hi, it's just sort of hard to see the chat right now. Uh, because this is in <laughs> 1280 by 720, so it's taking up the entire screen. You do play Half-Life Dreamcast, there's like the zombies, looks funny. Does the chat work? Yeah, it works. Hey, thanks for joining the stream. I appreciate it. Like I said, it's just hard to see the, the chat with how big this game is. You know, I'm always wondering who ate all the donuts, too. That is... Oh, my God. I thought that was going to kill me by dropping down there for a second. Um, I'll see what I can do about the resolution so I can actually see chat, but for this first playthrough, I just want it to be at like actual 720p resolution so and for whatever reason my monitor is set to a very similar resolution I don't know why Windows just gives me that by default but yeah the entire screen is taken up with this game <laughs> I honestly didn't expect anyone to stop by since one my internet has been intermittent and two I don't know, I just didn't expect anyone to find this worth clicking on. Not to be negative or anything, it's just like it's Half-Life for Dreamcast. Anyway, we got the push cart! Just gotta wait for this story segment to finish. And of course, because the computers are starting to explode before the experiment even started, we're gonna have to contend with some... Uh, anomalous materials. For lack of a better term, I guess. I feel like they're talking about important stuff, but I can't hear them. In this timeline, Gordon is deaf. Yes, in, in Dreamcast canon, Gordon never had ears to hear with. So, uh, all of this is just his his fault, because he couldn't hear. There we go. Smash the crystal into it. I am a, as far away as I can possibly be right now, friend. I don't even understand what they're trying to do here. It's like, they're using photoelectronics or something, and they're trying to utilize a big crystal to, like, amplify the electronic signal or something and then it suddenly makes alien show up ala mouse i'm at such low hp from this just like goofing off and falling down the elevator shaft do you know who disabled the elevator oh hello i don't know if anything can kill you in this segment but i just want to make sure that i don't get killed Portagons, for example, I don't think they'd try and attack you until the cutscene is over, at least. But I am fairly certain, like, after this uh, test chamber segment, they can just spawn in and zap your ass. Unforeseen consequences. Code Gordon teaches physics. What about this? Is Gordon teaching any semblance of physics? This is more like Gordon 
happens upon every law of physics breaking? Access denied? Do I have to do anything else in here, or is it just the... Uh, do I just have to wait for the door to automatically open? I can't even remember. It's been a few years since I played this. Dude, this is what I did in Goldeneye. I just blew up the wall computer. Okay, let's climb up here really quick. Uh, instantly die, I mean? Yeah, good stuff. Oh boy. Okay. Guess we gotta go through that entire cutscene again. Because, uh, you know... I didn't save immediately after it, and that's how I suffered. How's it going? I'm doing well. How about you? Again, thanks for popping in. I really appreciate you uh, participating in the chat and watching me play this. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's kind of hard to see the chat with this game, but uh, I'll probably fix it the next time I play this. I might even move to the PC version of Half-Life if it keeps being quiet like this, because... Uh, just amazed that no volume is working here. Deathfreeman.exe I wish I still had that banging music going on here. Give me a reason to start mid-air teabagging, you know? Pretty much the only reason I haven't started this playthrough on the PC is because, uh... I don't want my keyboard being big, loud, clicky-clacky, so... <laughs> Just thought it'd be easier to play uh, on console controls, and I am severely wrong already. Yeah, yeah, my suit should keep me safe, anti-mass spectrometer, push the crystal into the beam, etc. Well, at least I have a little more HP this time, but, like, I really need to make sure I descend this ladder properly, so let's, like, actually walk here. <laughs> Forgot how slippery the controls are for Half-Life 1. Like, not only is it pushing boxes and stuff around, but it's also movement on ladders and stuff. Pretty sure when you climb a ladder, you just, uh, slide upward. <laughs> The y-axis just moves you in a frictionless direction. Talking about physics, man. This game really doesn't know its own physics. Maybe that's what happened. Gabe made a whole game and then uh, the physics destroyed itself and that's how we have this. Work as quickly as you can, he says, as I pull out the uh, Half-Life speedrunning guide. Yeah, this frame rate is atrocious in some areas. Kind of not surprised, it's like the biggest thing in Gold Source right here. Like, just this entire sequence is probably one of the most graphically intensive things Gold Source Engine has ever done. Can I just like stare at a wall to get through this, please? There we go. Speed up the frame rate a little bit. Okay, good stuff. I was gonna say, let's just tank this cutscene. I don't know why I'm thinking like that. Yeah, let's just tank this. <laughs> God. Gotta love the screams of horror from my fellow compatriots. Okay, let's just, like, get through this, please. Thank God. Yeah, the test chamber is arguably one of the, like, most... I want to say graphically impressive, but that is not correct. Uh, just one of the, like, most... Uh, intensive in general segments in Gold Source. I don't know what other games use the Gold Source engine besides this. I think maybe, like, Dai Katana, but that might just be the Quake engine. And, uh, I mean, for its time, this was pretty impressive, because games back in, like, 2000 and earlier either used, like, some mixture of 2.5D graphics or uh, had some, like, weird combination of uh, 
other interacting technologies. Because, you know, computers were bad back then. I don't know what I need to do here. But let's just go ahead and save really quick. Hello, Gordon. Okay. Finally saved to, like, the correct part, so now I don't have to worry about anything. I wonder if on hard mode you take significantly higher fall damage, too? I actually can't climb that immediately if I'm holding B. Weird. Or holding the walk button is what I mean to say. Since I have everything assigned to different buttons. Okay, this should be open now, right? No? Uh... Do I have to drag this guy's corpse over to open this? It looked like he was missing some teeth at first. Hey Barney, can you like open the door for me, man? Oh, you know what? That's what opens it. Both terminals need to be activated, I think. Maybe? I am getting access denied. <laughs> okay. What? You gotta be patient with me, I don't remember this area of the game very well, but I do remember that it, like, takes some effort to actually get out of here. So, either I'm stuck, or I'm just not remembering what I have to do. How about access granted instead of access denied? Is that so hard? Do I have to go down here for some reason? No. I'm basically stuck here too? Uh, I already climbed up the ladder. I could have swore there's nothing I need to do over there. How about this keyboard? It does nothing. Yeah, I could have swore Barney shows up and he opens the door. He's like, hey Gordon, you trapped in there? Here, let me help you. And then he gets crushed by a boulder or something. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here. Let's just make our way downtown, walking fast, faces past. Ah, uh, yes, fall damage from, like, a two-foot drop. Uh, nothing on his corpse. Do I need to hit this thing? Ah, uh, there we go, it's hitting the wrong one. Sweet. Let's uh, make our way through before we get crushed to death. Hey buddy, good luck. What the hell is this? Rotating lights? Uh, okay. Some nice motherboards that just disappear into the ether. Good stuff. I legitimately thought I was stuck there for all eternity for a second. Okay, good stuff. Let's like climb back up finally. Okay. Here's the foreboding segment that I was talking about earlier. We get some head crabs. You know what? These surprisingly for this engine look sort of similar to uh, Half-Life 2's head crabs. Just a fragment of a uh, old gold source engine, I guess. I love how this is just a texture overlaid on a, like, cardboard cutout. That's how computers work, right? You just print out, like, a, an image, a GIF image on cardboard, and that's how you make a big lab server rack. Come on. Come on. Come, come. What the hell? He was trying to give me medicine, but, like... I need him to open the door? Dude, nice. 69 HP. Come on. I guess he has to heal you first if you're already damaged to get over here. God, this guy takes forever. Maybe he knows who ate all the donuts. 
finally. Oh yeah, this part. I think you can just crouch through this. But you gotta wait until the door gets zapped for whatever reason. I guess that's why he gives you medicine, just in case you took a ton of fall damage getting there. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Let's go ahead and save really quick again, just because I'm like... Finally past all of the dumb story segments that take 11 minutes. It's the number of the day, 11. Well, maybe the G-Man can tell us who ate all the donuts. You know what? I don't know, but maybe you can go back to the cafeteria at this segment? Ah, yes. Caution laser. Not anymore. Uh, I actually almost got instantly obliviate, obliviated? Obliterated is what I meant to say there, but I guess I immediately went to, like, the Harry Potter term. <laughs> I totally forgot that even happens. Whoops. Hey, you guys okay down there? Ooh. Yeah, they look okay. Maintenance access. Well, I guess, uh... Since I am a... Th uh, I have a theoretical degree in physics, I guess I can... Theoretically be a... Maintenance personnel as well. Give me gun. Yes. Gun acquired. Now, how do I switch weapons? Uh... Does the game force me to use one weapon? Oh boy. Let's just save again real quick because I finally have both a crowbar and a gun. I think I just need to assign a button for switching, so... Let me just do that really quick. No, not save game. I keep forgetting that like my controls are screwy. Okay, controls... Custom, and then, uh, let's see, action bindings, move back, strafe left. I don't need any of these, I need, uh, shifted right trigger? What the hell does that mean? Use, flashlight, jump, crouch, reload, maybe. Next item, I guess I already have it assigned? Oh god, uh, oh. No. No. I'm not even going to hit a button here because I don't want it to reassign anything. So, just one more second here. We're actually going to reset here. Hey, there's the classic Dreamcast intro too if you're waiting for it. Uh, I didn't want to accidentally reassign a button there, so... <laughs> Very glad that I just backed out there. That would have been extra pain to go through. I guess it's the D-pad buttons to switch between weapons. Good thing I saved immediately. Wait, what? I accidentally went to new game. Okay, port A slot 1. Gotta pull out my VMU. Uh, which one is this? Most recent, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna play some Seaman after this. Pull out my VMU and my, uh... Dreamcast microphone or whatever. I don't remember how Seaman works. Okay, that does nothing. That does nothing. What the hell does anything do here? I just wanna switch items? God, this is bad. <laughs> I love it so far, but wow, is this monumentally, uh, like, downgraded from the PC version. D-pad does nothing. Uh, let me actually go and configure this, then. Uh, so it should be... Hmm, I don't know how this actually will work here, so... I guess we'll just have to fiddle around with it a little bit. Uh, maybe I can just manually assign this way, though. Let me just check really quick. Shifted D-pad up. What do you mean by shift? Weapon. 
Where's like the switch item? There we go, next item. So let's do this, I guess. Uh, nope, that button does nothing. That does nothing. Uh, <laughs> none of these buttons do anything. Mm, I don't know. I can't assign anything. <laughs> This is so bad. Maybe I should just set it to this? I think that works. God, I don't know. Well, it's worth checking out to see if anything changed. That does switch weapons, okay. You know what, that's as best as I'm going to get here. So if I ever need to crouch, I guess I just got to jump before I do it. That's perfectly fine. I don't think there's going to be any segment where... Like, jumping immediately to crouch is going to screw me. I At least I hope not. Let's switch back to the crowbar here, because that's going to save a ton of ammo. Once again, I was saying this earlier, but I just love infinitely smacking stuff with the crowbar. It's like the optimal way to play Sven go up. You just show up, smack everything, and then run away. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way to do this. So I guess we just gotta go with custom controls here and figure out whatever works. Uh, what? Why did I start a new game? <laughs> Can I, like, load the last save I had and not start an entirely new save? There we go. That should work. Maybe I'm gonna have to use the gun really early on. It seems like a lot of this is gonna be a little difficult. I mean, yeah, I'm on hard mode, but... Whenever switching weapons takes several different buttons... I'm, not, I'm only used to the PC version of this, it's going to be very strange. That is so weird. Ugh. <laughs> Smashed into a puddle of blood. Now let's just see if this works really quick. Do like the Dark Souls strategy. Run in, do like three hits and then back off real quick. I'm going to need to find some HP very soon too. These guys are going to chunk away my HP. I don't remember what we need to do. Let's go check the break room really quick, though. Nice. <laughs> the eviscerated viscous liquid is still microwaving. Oh, it looks like we got like a Veggie Tales drink there or something. What is that? Okay. It looks like it gives you different textures. What is this? It literally looks like the uh, tomato veggie tail guy. You know, tomato gaming, he was his own veggie tail at one point. Grape? It just says grape twice, okay. What else we got here? What is this, like caffeine water? Caffeination. <laughs> okay. That's a pretty on-the-nose joke. Yeah, give me more caffeination. Caffeine nation. You know how they say vape nation? What is this? Dante? We're playing Devil May Cry now. Can I just spam this over and over again to get 100 HP? Hold up, I saw a green sodi pop there. Uh, it looks like we hit our limit. Yeah. What about this one? Is this going to give me different sodi pops? Oh, we got like a... Uh, Cthulhu Tang or something? Caffeination? What else we got here? Veggie Tail drink? Make sure you praise God before you drink this one chat 
What in the hell is this? I can't tell if it's like a big swoosh swirl of like Mountain Dew? Or if it's actually like a squid. And it really do be Cthulhu... Cthulhu Crush or whatever. Give me the sprite looking thing again. Because I didn't get to read that one. It looks like if you spam the buttons too, it uh, like just automatically deletes your quota for whatever you pulled. This one's just straight up like a textured blur of uh, like, I don't know, flourishes or something. Yeah, imagine being in this situation, man. Aliens start invading the planet, and you just, you go to the break room immediately and start chugging 50 sodas. Good strat. Whose is this? Guthrie? Rest in peace, Guthrie, my man. It looks like I'm just gonna have to, like, not reload forever. Because it doesn't seem like there's going to be a reliable way to uh, survive by reassigning buttons over and over here. Hey, at least we get some health this early on. Very nice. Can I use the bathroom finally? Uh, You guys okay over here? Huh? I don't see any legs. Nobody's in the toilet, I guess. I thought that said Riker, but it's Riller. Case of emergency, break glass for fire extinguisher. Can I break glass? Nope. Just uh, make it slightly dimmer. It is crowbar proof. So I... wait. I don't want to go over here, right? Or do I? I see you over there, by the way. Don't think I don't see you. Yeah, exactly. You thought you'd get away with that one? Idiot. Did I just come over from here, or...? Uh... Yeah. I must have just passed by that scientist without even noticing him. Because this just leads back to where I was. And it's the first zombie I even shot. Huh. Okay. Good stuff, I guess. Uh, hmm. So I think I have to go back to, like, the main office area. Ooh. Looks like the doorway to, like, one of these, uh, big science rooms is, like, blocked off. I think we gotta get in here, though, too, so... I feel like that's just a big hint to where you have to go next. What in the hell is this? Why is this even over here? The announcer is saying something, but I can't hear him for the life of me. Hmm, I wonder if the game could hint even further where I need to go next. Can't exit Black Mesa. You got, you got like two slabs of rub rubble in the corner to tell you that, too. Uh, I probably want a crowbar. Just make sure we don't get eviscerated by the head crab. And in fact, eviscerate it right back. Will you stop jumping at me? It hurts. It burns! Okay, that's full HP, so I should just save immediately. Should probably save over some of these, too. Because I'm just going to have a bunch of save slots taking up space. Delete a game! <laughs> Bro. You can only have, like, three or four save slots. That's hilarious. Uh, what? How do I delete? Huh? Does pressing A on a previous save while you're in the save menu just delete it, then? I was assuming I would overwrite it. I guess not. Game saved to VMU. Gonna have, like, a nice chibi Gordon Freeman face pop up at me and say hi. It'll say, good job, Desio, or something. Nice! Okay, we probably want, uh, gun? 
I don't know. I don't remember this very well. I remember scientists being chased around by head crabs. Scientists who looks just like Kleiner, by the way. What the hell is that? Backup generator or something? I guess. Seizure zombie, my favorite feature. Seizure warning, by the way, I didn't think I'd have to say that for this, but... Just in case you have uh, epileptic seizures or anything like that. Just want to make sure everybody is safe while watching this. And let's move on. Finally making some progress. Instead of getting stuck in one area. And dying 500 times. Can I like open this please? Thanks. Oh god. Not these things. Frickin' like explodey sound hounds or whatever they're called. You can screw off my man. I feel like Freeman's mind best illustrates these things and how annoying they are. Oh, what's up, dude? Yeah, let's go. Yes, let's go. I feel like you get better dialogue from Deus Ex than from these guys. Ah, Jensen! Do you know who ate all the donuts? <laughs> You're an og, donut. I'm getting as far away from that as I can. The aiming is so janky in this, but I guess with the auto-aim it's not nearly as bad as it could be. Yeah, basically full HP, too. You'll stay there? Dude, I just climbed over, like, a... one-foot gap? And that scares you? Are you okay inside? Are you insane? Just anything that sounds like Saiyan instantly makes me think of, uh, Dragon's Ball P. Ah yes, Vortigaunt time! Incredibly laggy Vortigaunt. What is this, ammunition? Nice. Got hecka ammo now. Uh, don't want to go into the poisonous swamp just yet. You know, the sewer level, as bro team pill would call it. Just unload a bunch of shots into that damn thing. Oh, hello, friend. Yeah, I'm still doing okay on HP. Hey, you good? Okay. He's just gonna stay in there for all eternity, I guess. I refuse to go another step. Where'd my friend go, by the way? Dude, come on. You need to come with me so you can die a horrible death, right? <laughs> I love how my aiming reticule gets a red dot over it whenever I'm aiming at the scientist. It's like, uh, you can kill him, you know. Okay, we in poisonous swamp territory. Finally in the sewer level. Do I need to actually do anything in here besides, like, turn the Switch? Half-Life 1 for the Nintendo Switch. Now in the Nintendo Switch eShop. Oh god. No! Bombs? No! I am actually gonna... Uh, die here? Hello, oxygen? Oh my god! The, the swimming is so bad. Okay, at least I can go grab some more HP over here. But what the hell was that, man? I'm going to have to start to remember to like heal up every time and save after I heal up. Whenever I go to these new areas. Because uh, there's going to be some stuff where I'm going to be stuck and have no option but to like go back to a previous save because I'm that stuck. I just remember this game well and that happens so often. Okay, so like delete this garbage. Yeah, it says press A to delete whenever you hover over a previous slot. That's so weird. 
Why do these take up so many blocks, by the way? Like, what is the deciding factor for how many blocks it takes up? What is even a block? Several kilobytes of information? Okay, now I can save. Kind of an ancient uh, save system, but whatever. To my knowledge, the VMU didn't really store much data on it, so that makes perfect sense. Okay, good stuff. We can finally go swimming without uh, pissing our pants. I'm assuming I just gotta, like, descend here. Uh, game? <laughs> it's just automatically sending me back up. Okay, there's gotta be some way to get through here really quick. Oh, you know what it is. I gotta do this. I didn't even have to hit it with a crowbar, I just had to pass through. Literally sewer level, dude. There is sewage pouring into the grate. This actually looks like just a quick fix that uh, the maintenance department figured out. They're like, yeah, just uh, that pipe's broken, just let it dump into the sewer grate. Yeah, screw it. It's all going to the same place anyway. Yeah, just let, let the pipe remain open and dump it into the fucking sewer grate. Uh, you know what, I don't even feel like checking that out. It probably just leads nowhere. I seriously doubt it'll get like a new weapon over there or anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's a fun segment. Big ol' like, descend the elevator thing. Diagonal elevator. Some more ammunitions. Okay, run. Because this thing will actually kill me if I fall too fast. Let's go ahead and save here as well. This thing is kind of dangerous and will chunk away our HP if we sit on it without, like, fighting in this part. I mean, if you haven't seen Half-Life before, I guess, spoilers, but, like, dude. This game is 20 years old now. <laughs> Probably even older than that. If you're getting spoiled to the game, I'm sorry, but, like, eh, it's too long. The grace period is over. The Black Mesa incident was over 20 years ago, Gordon. Yes, Gordon Freeman PTSD, the classic. Let's go ahead and switch over the pistol real quick, because this area is redonkulous. I feel like standing on the edge here is just going to help immensely, because everything's just going to jump off all the way to the bottom. Dude, hell yeah. <laughs> This works perfectly, dude. They're just all falling down there. Does the auto-aim actually, like, path into them, or is this, uh... Huh. It seems like only whenever it's locked on to specifically where their model is it'll hit. Which makes perfect sense. I just had a feeling it would hit them whenever it's locked on, but, like, not in the proper area. Okay, I need like a good vantage point here and this is not gonna help. Hello, head crabs. Okay, it seems like three shots. I'll go ahead and dispatch them real quick. And if I remember correctly, their effective jump range is pretty short. So they'll just like keep wandering towards you until they feel like they can hit. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Let's get the, uh, I was gonna say Vortigon. Let's take the Boomhound out. And then grab that HP that's over there. Yeah, go ahead and explode or whatever, dude. This lock-on is so good. Just feels like I'm playing PC. That's a big thing about Half-Life 1. I feel like aiming in Half-Life 1 is just very precise. And I mean in a good way, not like a, Oh my god, this game's so hard, you need to be a CSGO pro. It's just very nice. Maybe we will pick up the PC version of this game instead. Okay, this is just going to infinitely spawn head crabs. You okay down there? Seems like everything takes three hits. Okay, never mind, that guy's still alive. Can I, like, jump over here, please? Yeah, get me to the HP. You know me. 
Talking about the HP, yeah, you know me. Okay, let's go ahead and save again. I should probably just preemptively delete every single save file I have in advance. Just so I have, like, space. Look at that, I barely have anything taking up space here, and the game's complaining to me. 103 blocks needed. Well, I might as well just have one save file at a time, then. Imagine that, a game that makes you delete your previous save to make a new one. Like, it makes you manually go and delete it. Not even, hey, do you want to overwrite this? It's just like, hey... You know, this thing exists that you gotta get rid of it. I guess I could use different VMUs to save here, too, if I really need to. Keep that in mind for the future. The heritage for the future. Yada yada does it. Well, that was fun. <laughs> you guys wanna, like, show up and try and surprise attack me again? I'd like to see you try. I knew that would kill me. That would be worth the shot. Didn't work out. Well, we're right over there, so this is going to be easy and quick to get back to, I guess. <laughs> Feeling a little cold today. I went outside to get my new SIM card for my phone. And it was actually like 50 degrees outside. I was kind of surprised. I mean, it is like almost November, so it makes sense. But it was like foggy earlier today, and it just seemed nice and fall chilly. You know what I'm saying? Chilies? Got them baby back ribs? So from what I understand, there it is. If you break some boxes, you get a Dreamcast exclusive Easter egg, which is a... Dreamcast discs. I guess you get wrenches too. Or spanners. Interesting. Why do I hear a spitter? Kinda don't want to go down here. Let me just check over here real quick. Oh yeah, this is the accursed dungeon. What are you shooting at? He, it, he is actually hitting the box. I saw that just a moment ago. He hit the box and it accelerated. That went across the frickin' map. This guy has the best aim ever. Screw CSGO for me. Sign this guy up for TSM. Or whatever this, like, top CSGO clan is. I don't know anything about CSGO, fam. I don't know why this guy's still sticking around. You think you're gonna fight me from all the way down there? Give it up, head crab. I have the high ground. Okay, these barnacles make a no difference if I actually fight them or not, so I'm just gonna say screw it and avoid them. Descend the ladder. Can't wait until we get to the uh, extremely stupid segment coming up soon. I want to say it's actually like mid-game that it happens. But this area in particular that I'm thinking of is very dumb. And it will kill me probably 20 times in a row if I let it. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to kill me if anything. 41 HP. Oh my god. I tried moving the box and now I'm suffering because of it. How do I get out of here? game just let me out dude I'm gonna have to do some like wacky wavy inflatable arm flailing tube man tricks to get out of here just wanted to grab the HP I didn't want to get stuck in even more sewer level okay here we go this is fine And in classic Half-Life fashion, you basically save every time you get to a new area. It's just how you play the frickin' game. Can't wait until we get to, like, uh, fighting the Black Ops segment, and I'm just like, why did I put this on hard mode? I have to save every time I kill one person. But whatever. 
It makes sense that we gotta do it like this. Good old Dreamcast speed, too. Why do I feel like the FOV got really weird there? Yeah, maybe it's just confirmation bias or something. Uh, hello? Were you over here before, or am I just crazy? Could have swore that head crab was definitely not over there before. Okay, let's get our way out of here. Evacuate the sewers, Gordon. Okay, can I, like, ooh, I was gonna say, can I jump across this, but it really doesn't look like you can. Maybe? Let me see if I can make this. Oh my god, I almost did. What is this? Why is there light over there? Yeah, thanks. At least I didn't take a ton of fall damage from that one. What the hell? What happened to all my ammunition? Uh, is that a glitch or am I... Have I actually used that many shots? What? Yo, I'm confused. Guess we'll just have to collect more ammo as we go here. Let's go ahead and switch to the crowbar just in case. Oh boy! Big old platforming segment that's probably going to kill me infinite times. Oh yeah. Just trying to climb the ladder. I'm like flying off into the sun. Well, at least we're in the meat and potatoes of the game. We're not actually just having to sit there listening to NPCs we can't even understand. <laughs> Stupid NPCs. <laughs> Me, the based zoomer. So much better than all these NPCs. SMH. I guess I could have switched the uh, slow down button to the crouch button. We can always do that later, though, if I really need crouch. There's a few segments I can think of where maybe, like, it'll be more useful to be able to crouch without jumping first, or uh, it might even kill me to jump if I need to crouch. But for now, it's fine. Just wait until we get to, like, the rocket chamber segment, then I'm really just gonna be like, why did I ever care about the controls? Now I care about how hard the damn game is. Okay, let's go ahead and save again. I guarantee you this is going to be the whole playthrough. Just me <laughs> going through the game and saving over and over and over again until we get to the final boss. And then saving at the final boss. Reloading state and then saving uh, in between boss phases. If only this didn't take so long to save the game. Yeah, this is going a lot better than what I thought it would be like, though. It's not like an insane amount of lag or anything, it's just like the opening segment that's kind of laggy. Why does this remind me of uh, The World Is Not Enough? That one weird James Bond game? You know, I started playing The World Is Not Enough. Um, and it's weird, like, I had played it before, and I just assumed that I had, like, a, the beta copy or something. I don't know. Because, like, the first level I remember playing is vastly different from the level I've played. So, I don't know what the hell is happening there. Uh, I probably gotta shoot all these head crabs to get out of here. I don't know if I have enough ammo to survive all of this, though. That is scary. Uh, I think if you get too close, the electricity arcs and just decimates you. So let me just like break this real quick. Okay, sweet. We're in. Uh, speaking of James Bond, we're in the ventilation shaft now. Anything else I need to do in here? Actually, I think you do need to sneak around in here. Yeah, I was just surprised that I played The World Is Not Enough, and it uh, I either misremembered the first level, or, like, I, the particular version I played just starts you off on a later level or something. It's weird, though, because uh, the first level is, like, 
you kind of enter a bank almost. And I definitely remember it being a bank in the other version I played, so... I must either be remembering it wrong or, like, something weird is going on, you know? Mandela effect for twine. Mandelbrot effect. Well, as uh, per usual, we just gotta drink a bunch of sodas during the Black Mesa apocalypse. I don't know how many sodas I can drink, but I will take as many as I can here. You know, whatever. I'm good. We opened up the one area that counts. We got Mr. Science over here. We got a Circuit Breaker. Famed character, Circuit Breaker. I don't know if this guy can die by uh, getting eaten by the barnacles. What's up, dude? I'm just going to post up on the couch. You, uh... You go on ahead. I'm I'm good here. Do you know who ate all the donuts? Okay, just don't get eaten by the barnacle and we should be okay here, buddy. You okay? Hello? What about chaos theory, dude? I'm a theoretical physicist. Not a chaos theory physicist. There's a difference, I think. Do I gotta break this or something? Okay. <laughs> I was like, am I stuck already? Well, I gotta say, I love this segment because it is so goofy. Uh, like, if you had never played a Source game before, and you got to this part, you'd probably be like, what the hell is wrong with the developers? Storage. Uh. Oh, hey. You got any ammo for me, buddy? No? Okay, see you later. Wait. What? Why did I hear glass breaking there? <laughs> I just love that this sink is overflowing. And we have uh, electricity leaking into the water that is overflowed. Yes, good. What is breaking over here? I hear something breaking over and over. Okay, let's do the rational thing here and just eviscerate every box we see. Also squished all squish all of the mini head crabs, I guess. I think that's what they are. Ah yes, the first laboratory segment here. This thing is always fun. Like I said, if you've never played a Half-Life game before or just like any source game. I feel like this is just such an outdated segment, but it's so fun because it's just wacky as hell. It's like, uh, yeah, you see this area that you just passed through? Well, remember it, because you're going to need to. Oh, hey, buddy, you okay over there? Hey, Barney, right behind you? Uh, told you so. Damn, I should have been faster. Like, actually, because I think if you're fast enough here, and you kill the zombie, like, in a rapid fashion, you actually get to keep Barney with you for a little bit. And I say Barney in such a generic fashion. We got a hard drive over there. Copy of Half-Life. Exposed hard drive is what that is, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't even have a head on it. Dude, was I actually supposed to save this guy? What the fuck? Was he gonna open the door for me and I just didn't even consider it? Uh, hello? Wow, I feel really dumb. Am I going crazy or do I... Do I need that guy? I think I might need that guy. I mean, crazy Gordon, he can't just like reach through the bars and turn the lever himself. Do you know who ate all the donuts? Ah, Gordon! 
Uh, let's try doubling back here really quick, because if I remember correctly, this crazy segment makes you do this. Go in circles over and over again until you figure it out. That itch that scratch for you there, zombie boy. Good stuff. More ammunition. Uh, do I need to, like, drag the box over here? I forget. Like I said, this segment is vastly outdated compared to future FPS games. So, uh... You're gonna be encountering some wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man shit. Like, can I do this? Yes, but it hurts, right? Yeah, that hurts. Can I step in this? Yeah, that doesn't hurt you. So basically, you want to, like, floop de doop around here. Like, do a little bit of this. And then you want to just, like, do some Minecraft-style parkour in there. I know what you're saying, but why? Because Dev said so. Wait, what? Now it's asking me if I want to override save? What the hell? I am so confused. I guess it only asks if you want to override a save if you... ...have more than two and you're out of block space, I guess? Weird champ. Let's just stay on crowbar here. Just hitting the wrong buttons on accident. Okay, and then I think you can hit the light switch to deactivate the... ...electricity problem in here. Yeah, we're good. Now you gotta break this, which, you know, makes enough sense. Ow? Who asked you? Same to you who asked you? I swear to God, at some point, like a scientist or like Barney shows up and they say, you probably shouldn't be firing a gun in, a, in an air conditioning shaft. And, like, literally what you have to do to get through that area is fire a gun in an air conditioning shaft. Smart. This game is big memes. Oh, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you thought you made progress? Nope, here you are again. Okay, so this part is pretty stupid, but it's exactly what I was thinking of. You gotta get the box, push it around, like you're some sort of, I don't know, Zelda puzzle guy. This is locked naturally. So you think to yourself, oh, what do I gotta do? Yeah, it's simpler than you think, buddy. Just gotta push boxes around for some dumb reason. Gordon never expected this to be a desk job, I guess. Why am I stuck up here? There's like some weird physic. Oh. Is it the ladder that's pushing me? Some weird physics problem that's going on up here. My name, Dick Physics. Dick, kick him. Okay, eh, I just need to get up here, but like the ladder is both gatekeeping me and also pushing me at this, you know, the velocity of, uh, seven gigatons or whatever, whatever a rocket would fly at. This area is so roundabout, dude. More JoJo references, by the way. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta go backwards, go forwards, go backwards, climb up, go backwards, go forwards. Eventually, you start going forwards, but then you go backwards again, see? Ah! Well, we had these guys in GoldenEye, and now we gotta deal with them again. I don't know if you can actually destroy the turrets in this game, but it might be worth my time to actually just try and shoot it real quick. Ah, yeah, you can destroy them. Just give it another volley, I suppose. I love the shotgun in this game, it's so crunchy, for lack of a better term. Beefy, I guess. It's got a, a big clunge grunge sound to it. Clunge. I don't even know what this thing is shooting at now, it's like aiming at bugs on the floor or something. 
Okay, we're safe. Good stuff. What is this, a personnel report or something? It actually just looks like college rule paper. Uh, is there anything else I can, like, actually grab over here is the question. I think we can hop up onto one of these boxes, but I just need to make sure I'm grabbing all the ammunition I can here, because, uh... We're gonna need it pretty soon. Let's see, can I grab this box up here, or is it not gonna let me? Maybe I gotta hop onto this one? These are, like, virtually the same height? Uh... Maybe there's a box in here I can lift up. Eh, you know what, we're getting all the ammunition we need. Oh yeah, this leads backward again. I guess just in case you forgot the shotgun or something. <laughs> Got like a nice garbage can to hang out with, I guess. Are we like at full capacity for ammo now? Okay, I just didn't grab it from that height. Hey, now we're actually doing good on ammo reserves. Feels good, man. Can't believe that took three shots. Good god. This thing is incredibly inaccurate in this version, I feel like. Because usually the Spaz-12 is just, uh, it decimates everything. Eh, maybe I'm just missing. How am I supposed to get up here? Huh. What exactly did that do? I'm assuming this switch just turns off the auto turret in case you, uh, were able to sneak over here or something? Hmm. Well, I don't think I can get up here easily. Maybe I just need to get, like, right up against this and I can drag this. No, it doesn't seem like you can even grab it, it even if you're, like, at jumping height with it. Whatever, I'm sure I'll find another, uh, health regeneration spot soon enough. Oh boy. Alright, come on down. Freaking head crabs, man. They do so much damage in this. It's 76 HP already. Lost all of my armor as well. Well, I shouldn't be too surprised playing on hard mode. Okay. I think this might be our first encounter with uh, a Barney that actually helps us fight. Let's just go ahead and do the thing again. Yes, Barney. From, uh, wasn't the show just called Barney? I don't know. It's been, like, actually several decades since I've watched Barney. So I clearly can't remember that sort of thing. Hey, nice work, dude. You got one. You got all three of them. Yep, RLH, dude. We can RLH and then we'll RKO after that. Dude, Barney is a savage. Science man. Why is he turning the lights off? I don't know who's talking to me here. Is it Barney or is it the scientist? Science man is obviously stuck, so... I think we're gonna encounter some Vortigons here. Mmm, tasty science. There's some HP and armor that I desperately needed. What the hell was that sound? I guess it wasn't done eating them. That did damage to me? Good god. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be some Vortigons in here, I think. I just need my shotgun, because that's gonna make this go way faster. Ow! Electricity bad? God, Barney is the goat in this area. I don't know if I really need those sodas. Probably not going to be worth my time. 
Dude, I am at so low HP after all of this. Barney, behind you! You idiot! I can't even attack, I gotta reload. No, I honestly, I did not see that shot. Good work, man, though. I know you're doing a good job, Barney. I just can't afford to pay attention when I'm also trying to save my own damn life. I can't hear what he's saying, but it sounded like something positive. Ugh, I gotta, like, strafe into shooting here to make it work. See another Vortigaunt in here. Wait, no, this is Science Man. Hey, buddy. I feel like he turned off the lights so he could hide, but, like, what is that going to do when you're stuck in a corner glitching? Here, I'll, let me help you out with that. Now you can see to get out. I think asking scientists to follow you is going to make Barney stop following you, but let me just try. Yes, medicine. Can you come along now? Both of you gonna come with me? Why are you leaving me here? Says the man who just like stands in the corner and doesn't follow. You won't go another step. Did he just call Barney a specimen? What a unit. What a unit that Barney fellow is. Ah, yes, the calendar. Uh, looks like it says Cupcake Member, or Cupcake Tember or something. There's not a real month, but thanks. Now at least I know what month it is. The month of cupcakes. I don't remember where I have to go here, but it seems uh, pretty linear from what I remember. Yeah, this is where we came from. So it should be just across the hall, and I think we have to, like, enter an elevator or something. Is it snack time? Ooh. No, it's soda time. Pizza time. Cue the Spider-Man pizza song. Well, uh, you know what? Despite it being on hard mode, at least the AI is stuck on easy mode. <laughs> Doesn't know how to catch up. Need some ketchup with that pizza? Can I actually get snacks? Doesn't look like it. I'm kind of afraid to smack this too because I have solo HP. Ah, yeah, there we go. Eat the snacks, Gordon. Looks like you can't actually eat the Doritos in the snack machine. Whatever. Okay, if I remember correctly, something bad happens here. Wait, what happened to my buddies? Did they also get eviscerated by the Vortigons? Hello? Oh, there he is. I guess they're just stuck? Huh. By the way, if you shoot Barney or let him die, I think you get some new ammo? Not really a like extremely helpful tip, but I guess if you run out of ammunition, you can just smack him to death. You gonna stay here, buddy? My brains and your brawn? You mean me or Barney, dude? I'm like a combination of both of you at once. Alright, let's ascend the stairs, and I think this leads into our next major segment. Yeah, there it is, the auto turret. Oh god, that thing is going to shoot from both sides. Yeah, there's Barney's ammunition. Ouch. Uh, I think you just need, like, a good angle on that thing, and you can shoot it pretty decently. Not that it's going to matter, because I'm 19 HP. I'll just try and sneak up on it real quick. Oh boy. No, it looks like I can shoot it. Section D, Administration 1. Okay, that actually worked. 
I don't know what happened before with all of my ammunition dip disappearing. It must have just been like a glitch or pure coincidence or something. Oh, I guess the game was trying to tell me I can explode this right here. <laughs> nice. Well, it looks like Janitorial is going to have to clear that one up really soon. Ah, the good old shotgun. This thing works excellently against Vortigons. There we go, we just hit a new loading zone, as I suspected. And I think we're gonna have to fight a bunch more Vortigons here. Pretty soon, at least. As much as I don't want to, I should probably save here, too. Is it gonna let me overwrite? Looks like it. Huh, it really just seems like big areas are what cause, like, gigantic block usage. I wonder if it's that, or if it's, uh... Like, the amount of items you're carrying or something, or if you have someone following you. I don't know. I'm not a Dreamcast Half-Life developer. Uh, yeah, that's what you believe, Barney. Did he start following me the second I started interacting with the health machine? I can't hear him, so I don't know if he's following or not. Dude, he is so quiet. Okay, now he's following. It took me hearing, I'll stay here me to be able to hit the interact button again to finally get him to follow. Hmm, I see some grenades in there. That'll be very handy soon enough. Uh, anything else I want to take care of here? See a nice little ventilation shaft segment here, so let's go ahead and explore this really quick. Uh, hmm, I think this might actually be required. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of scary. Because anything with, like, fan blades will instantly kill you if you walk too fast into it. I just know this for a fact, having played Half-Life several times. That is danger. You want to avoid that. I think you actually have to come over here. I don't know if you necessarily need the grenades, but I think... This brings you to the grenades and also takes you where you need to go. Ugh. They just melt your HP, man. Ah, classic Half-Life. Switching through every weapon in your inventory just to pull out the crowbar. Hmm. I think this does go over to the office area. Uh, I'm stuck? I can't crouch because I have to jump to crouch, and because I'm jumping, I'm getting stuck, so I cannot crouch. Good god. Okay, uh, what button don't I need? Probably not the flashlight, but I feel like it's the ultimate meme in this game. Let's see if I can replace the L button here. No, not wrong button. Controls. I need crouch. I don't even know why shift is a thing, so we'll just rebind shift, I think. I don't need to walk. 99% of the time. Crouch, toggle, or crouch? I probably want to hold down crouch, so... Uh... Wrong button? Oh my god. Okay, uh... You know what, that's flashlight, I guess that's okay, but... Kinda need the flashlight, too. Uh... Hmm... Hello, Gordon. <laughs> no, that's right, that's one of my camera buttons, actually, so... Uh... This is probably just one of the few segments where I need jump. Or I don't need jump. 
So let's just like back out and hope this works. Oh boy. Okay. I have crouch double bound now. <laughs> okay, that works. Uh, I don't... <laughs> I think I can't move left now. Good stuff. I can move diagonally backwards left, but that's it. So let's just rebind this really quick. <sighs> Not the B button. Oh, this is so confusing. <laughs> okay, so... Look left is what I'm looking for here. Strafe left? No. Or wait, yes, yeah, so maybe it is strafe left. I don't know. Turn left? God. <laughs> strafe shift? I feel like a lot of these are just the same command and they just have different names. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, okay, what, where, where am I here? Can I just, like, unbind these? I don't need half of this. D-pad up doesn't even work for this. I wish there's a button to just clear out the assignment for that, because I feel like I'm going to double bind everything now. Okay, what is my movement options here? Shifted X button for strafe left. Hmm. Now let's just go ahead and change this to this button. Oh god, please work. <laughs> please. Okay, yes, it does work. I hope this doesn't instantly send me into crouch mode. But for now, it seems to work. Okay, yeah, it doesn't make me crouch. And I instantly died, too. <laughs> Good stuff. Wait, how did you get over here, my man? What the hell? That is seriously confusing. I don't know how he showed up over there. Unless he was another Barney from somewhere else. That is a maximum weird champ for me. Let me just test my controls really quick to make sure everything works. Okay, uh, jump is now permanently unbound. I have... Everything else, though, it looks like. I really don't need slow down, I don't think. Like, if I'm just going too fast, I can probably rebind this at some point for, like, slower shooting combat. But I can probably just rebind slow to jump. Or, you know, vice versa. Probably just switch this around really quick. Let's see here. Controls. Custom. I need jump on the Y button. Uh, let's see. Jump. Jump is totally unbound. That's funny. Crouch. There we go. Are we good? God, I hope so. Crouch, jump. Okay, that's all I needed it for. You know what? I can probably just crouch, too, if I need, like, slower shooting in the future, so that's perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and save one more time. And I think that's going to be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching me play Half-Life for the Dreamcast. This has been an interesting experience. And I think I will try to get through this game completely. Uh, I have a feeling it is beatable. Because uh, it seems like it's just a direct port. Like, nothing really major needed to be changed. Changed? Changed, except for uh, Easter eggs, I guess. But yeah, this has been interesting to check out, and uh, despite the fact that it really doesn't play as well as the PC version, it still seems just as interesting and engaging. Oh, it looks like I was just down here, too. So I went through the entire... Uh, I guess you can go through something else over there. I was going to say I did all that for nothing, but <laughs> it looks like there's more content over there. But yeah, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for checking out this game with me on the Dreamcast. And yeah, like I said, 
This was an unreleased game, so it should have some interesting content that uh, has been rarely seen before. And yeah, once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.